after all the things I've seen. After all the things I've done. My life is on a course that I can't escape from. It's too late for me now. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. The last story. Hello lads and lasses, I'm John aka Jolix Gamer, and today we're playing The Last Door. Uh, it's a pixelated horror game that I had just happened across on Newgrounds. There is a website for it, thelastdoor.com, uh, where you can play various chapters of it, so please do go check it out, because from what I've seen, which is a lot, it's actually quite good. But you could probably see from just this that it's very pixely. And there's some sponsors, there's stuff like that. They're also, uh, they were on Kickstarter. Yes, yes, video game stuff. Information October 1891. That's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechworth to quote from this letter. It's been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back then at a secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind, like simple childhood memories. But it was unusual. That letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex to the uh, to the address on that letter. And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. Chapter 1, The Letter Wait, okay, we're in the game actually this time. Whew. Yeah, it's quite. It has quite the intro. Um. Well, let's go on in. Let's get right into this thing. I'm wearing my little Batman cape and top hat. This is weird. Everything is silent. Like there's no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Yes, this is all about your playing. Uh, this red-haired young fellow who is on a quest to find his dear friend Anthony. That's his coat. A note on the table. Dear Major Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years at your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Just take off all that, take off after all that time. Sure, why not? Portrait of Anthony. He looks older than I expected. Ooh, looks like he's got some mad sideburns, too. A grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. But what about the wind that I clip? I can plainly hear wind coming in through the door. Hmm. Alright, well, let's check out some other rooms, I guess. Uh, fireplace. Looking like it been clean a long time. Which would be expected. Letting the alright, whatever. A drinks cabinet with glasses. Oh yeah, let's get drunk and party. One man party. <laughs> oh. uh, some crystal bottles and a matchbox. Take the matchbox. Only these matches could be useful. Gramophone. Stuffed deer head. Okay, nothing useful in here. Uh, landscape painting. 
Looks like Mr. Anthony was dabbled in some painting. Uh, let's see what's over here. Plate with some day-old leftovers. Probably hasn't eaten in a while, so I wouldn't expect I would expect him to be quite hungry. Kitchen stoves and a cleaning cloth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Variety of cooking agreements. Basically, a spice rack. Nothing interesting in here. No knife that I could possibly use to kill. Oop! Murder of crows. Eagerly eating something. Probably dead body. Is it probably Anthony. You know, that's my. That's just my guess. I mean. Oh, wait, there is something I could take. Old cloth. Uh, rub the old cloth on that. I'd rather not clean it. Well, why not? Um, okay. Um, so an old cloth and some matches. I'm probably gonna have to end up lighting something on fire. Maybe a lantern. I don't know. Perhaps. Uh, let's see what's in here. What's that? A lamp. Yes. A lantern. Yay. Okay. Put the old cloth in the lantern. No. Uh, light the lantern. Lighted. Yeah. Okay. We're going. We're making headway. March fifth, eighteen ninety one. Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with them? Luckily, I found an old place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. May 18th, 1891. Master has been cleaning about Alfie, which would be a what would a what would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. Oh man. Mr. Beechworth is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. So basically, he's going nuts. That that's a, that's about what they they're saying right there is basically this dude's going fucking nuts. Window won't stay open. It looks like the wood is giving up. I need some sort of cord to keep it open. Uh, old cloth. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect that to work. Okay, um, don't look like there's anything else in here. Ooh, wait, uh, nothing of interest in these drawers. How, how did you know? Oh, no, wait, that's the thing I already read. Okay, go. Uh, open this door. We. That's probably, yeah, it's padlocked. It's probably his office. Okay, well, I have a lantern. Do what I can do with this. How about how about we just burn this house down and leave? You know, Anthony's gone nuts, so let's just not even worry about him. Just be like, you know what? Let's light let's light these crows on fire. Hey, right, go towards the crows. They're too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. Okay, match. Light the gold cloth on fire and throw it at him. Just make a Molotov cocktail. Ha ha ha. Uh, well, ooh, upstairs. Let's see what's up here. Hello, Anthony. Ah, ah, and a lantern, and creepy music. Fantastic. Nah, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Just one thing this thing was missing is creepy music. Okay. Now then, someone planks have been nailed to this doorway. Rip them down with your immense Superman strength. No? No. Oh. I mean, he has x-ray vision. I mean, why not? You know? Might as well. A double bed. It's covered in dust. Seems like no one has slept here for days. Is that Anthony? Gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. An intellectual. Uh, looks like some cups. Or family portraits. Everything looks so pixely. The window leads to a balcony that communicates with the adjacent room. It communicates with it. What? I can't open the latch. It's stuck. Perhaps I could force it with a small tool. Well, I don't have a small tool. Hasn't been used in a long time. Well, I would expect so, considering nobody's been in here for a while. 
Uh, what's this? A uh, silver key. We'll take it. Boom. Got a key. Okay. A uh, door right here. Let's see what this is all about. It's locked with a key. Does this work on it? Key doesn't fit the lock. Crap. Uh, well, I suppose this could go to the plat padlock door downstairs. For those of you who are wondering, yes, I'm still very sick. Uh, is this door? Does it say this door is stuck or locked? Won't open. Key. Key doesn't fit the lock. Damn it. Okay. We're going downstairs then. Uh, go in here. Uh, go in here. Yes. Okay. Uh, now we're heading to the end of the hallway. Let's go. Okay. Silver key on the padlock. Yes. We're making headway. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> this does not look good. Carnival of Venice. Carnival of Venice in a wine cellar. I feel like that's a reference to an old Edgar Allan Poe book. Along with the Ravens. Boiler looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Ooh, are we going to find a dude that's like holed up in a wall? Because that would be really cool. Cement is still fresh in this wall. Oh god, that's exactly what we're going to find, isn't it? Um, an old iron crowbar. Take it! Uh, we could probably use this to force open the door, or we can use it to break down these bricks. I can't break down the wall with this. Well, why not? Just hammer away at it, you know? Uh, okay, well, I guess we're heading back upstairs then. Great. Oh, I can take that. A record! Sweet. Oh, I could probably put this in the uh, gramophone. Okay. Uh, so we got the record. Uh, we could probably use it on this gramophone. There's no record on the gramophone. Well, put the record, take the record, and put it on the gramophone. Now there's a record on the gramophone. Okay. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there! Oh, jeez. Music stopped abruptly. Oh, no. Bye. Hi, crows. I'm just gonna leave now. Go out. Can I leave? Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. <clears throat> well then. Uh, let's try the crowbar on the store. Oh, I knew going inside that room was going to be a bad idea. Oh, jeez. Alright, crowbar on these boards. Break the chains! Or, in this case, boards. Okay. Oh, mmm. Mmm. For God's sakes, what happened in here? That's a very, very good question. Lady, you Okay. Life is body of a woman. It's been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. Take the note. Just steal it out of her cold, lifeless hands. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines. My last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what, he's not, what he is now. A stranger with a look of bereft out of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I don't know what shadow that sl I don't know that shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I sure it is not from this world.
Well then, I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. Well then, on that pleasant note, I've been John A.K. John Scammer, and I will see you guys in the next video when we're going to figure out the full mystery of this home. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.